Next stop on the NRSL Advocare Truck Series brings us to Sonoma, California, Sears Point Raceway, as it as it was formerly called, actually. This is this is actually Sonoma Raceways where we're at now. Um, for the doubleheader of the Trucks and Cup. That's what we're doing here today. So let's see what we're, see what we're having here today on this 2.52 mile road course. This is a long this is a long course we're running here today at Sonoma. Not the short course that we've been so used to seeing in, in our competition. <clears throat> so, with that all that said here, let's get to the start of the for today's running of the event. On the pole at 87 miles per hour, it is the number 3 GM Goodrich Chevrolet. It's Cole Deaver on the pole for today's running of the event. Alongside of him will be Kev Shear, car number or truck number 24, the Quaker State Chevrolet. Row three, or row two has Joshua Osborne in the line X Ford, truck number 15. And beside him will be Levi McIntyre. Number 99, the XI Batteries Ford. Fourth row has Kyle, or third row has Kyle Matthews in a DuPont Chevrolet, number 5. Beside him will be the Papa John Chevrolet, number 16, of Charles Sanford. Both of whom have in car, have in truck cameras for today's event. Row number 4 has the, has the 52 AC Delco Chevrolet of Seth Cole. And beside him will be Keith Batson, number 88, number 20, the, the Napa United Ford. Next row down has Jessica Shelton, number four, the team ASE certified Ford. And she'll be alongside number 22, Johnny Gardner, the winner at Martinsville this season, the Miller Ford, number 22. Third row has John, or next row down has John Arndt, the number 09 Zaxby's Ford, the winner this season at California. He'll be alongside Quentin Moore, number 44, the Federal Auto Parts Ford. Next row down has Paul Minnick in the number 6 Ultra Wheels Ford, and beside him will be the number 83 Mission Linens and Services Chevrolet. It's Jesse Turner. Next row down has number 38 Phil Parker at the, the Channel Lock Pliers Ford. He'll be alongside the number 18 Pennzoil Ford, or Pennzoil Chevrolet, excuse me. It's Chris Dodd. Next row down has Nathan Hudson, number 30, the, pen, the team Mopar Dodge. And beside him will be Jordan Anderson, number six, the to the total Chevrolet. Next row down has Kyle Lynch, number 75, the Spears Manufacturing Chevrolet. And Dylan Young, number one, the Die Hard Racing Chev the Sears Die Hard Chevrolet. Next row down has Andrew Davis, number 14, the Milwaukee Ford. Beside him will be Benjamin Miles and the Toyota Certified Toyota Tundra, number 23, the only Toyota in the field. Next row down has Jonathan Zora, number 17, the team GMAC Chevrolet. And the number 86 RC Cola Dodge, it's Alex Gray. He's alongside. Next row down has number 94, J.R. Tellier in the, in the Super 8 Motels Ford. And the number 8 GM Goodrich Chevrolet of Ryan George, that's alongside. Next row down has Zachary Fitzwater, number 59, the Kingsford Charcoal Dodge. And beside him will be the team ASC certified for number two. It's Zach Flickinger. He's alongside Flickinger was the winner this season at Daytona. And then it's Joshua Sakuli, the Texas winner in the XI Barrios Chevrolet, no, XI Barrios Ford number seven. And beside him will be the number 60 Cat Rental Store Chevrolet. It's Michael Turner. Next row down, Joshua Collard. He here starting way back in the pack. He's usually that good. He's usually good on the road courses. He's the number 43 Dodge Dealers Dodge. He's got a long way to make up for the from his bad qualifying run. Beside him will be Chelsea Bowles, number 29, the team Mopar Dodge. Next row down has Cat Tellier, the winner at Rockingham, and then Ranger Ford, number 50. Beside her will be JR movie JT Bryant. Number 24, number 21, Lo, Lo, Ortho Lawn and Garden Ford. Next row down has Matt Haas, number 20, the team MBNA Chevrolet. And Dougie Shears, Super Shears, number 87, Bells of Ability Chevrolet. And starting scratch on the field will be William Brock, number 25, the Budweiser Chevrolet. And the number 98, Ray Bestis Breaks Ford of Matt McIntyre. He'll be alongside. Feel about, feel about to get the command to fire the engines. Here, here let's go down track side. Engines. So the command's been given the fire the engines here on this on this 2.52 mile road course at Sonoma, California. They'll the Casual GTX Cup Series will be running the long version as well. 
for the Fuller House 350K here, and we are here, but we are here in the trucks here today for the running of the Fram Auto Light 125 or 151, excuse me. So let's see, so let's see what happens here on this in the 12 laps. There'll be distance, there'll be the distance here today on this racetrack. Kev Shear and Cole Deaver will lead him down. Deaver has the pole at a speed of 87 miles per hour. That's that's how slow this track is. And Shear qualified at almost the same speed, but just it was just a few thousandths of a second short from taking the pole for today's event. So the pace truck looks up on the looks up on the pit road as they will get as they will get the green flag here. For 12 laps of distance here today, and Levi McIntyre putting a bumper to uh, Kev Shear saying, well, I'm ready, are you? And you can bet all 38 trucks are ready to go here at this racetrack at Sonoma, California. As the green flag waves, and we are underway in the Fram Auto Light 125. Or 151, excuse me, I keep getting the, keep getting the name screwed up. And what a start Kev Shear got Carter in truck number 24 as he takes to the as he takes the Quaker State Chevrolet to the number one spot. Levi McIntyre goes to second place, and now Cole Deaver battling with Charles Sanford for the third position as as Deaver comes out with that spot, and now Sanford in a battle side by side with Joshua Osborne's Ford. And Kyle Matthews right behind him at number five in the DuPont Chevrolet. And down to what would be turn number six. That's the carousel part of the course. Going down to there in about third gear up to this point. Out of the carousel they come. Down to what would be part of the drag strip at Sonoma, California. Yes, they run an NHRA here as well. And the drag strip, which is lot which belies inside the road course. Now they go down to turn number seven. It's one of the slowest part of the course. That's one of the two hairpins, as a matter of fact. It's Kev Shear leading, Levi McIntyre second, third is Cole Deaver, fourth is Charles Sanford, Joshua Osborne goes fifth, sixth is Kyle Matthews, Keith Batson's in seventh, eighth is Johnny Gardner, ninth is Seth Cole, and tenth is Jessica Shelton. And that's the top ten trucks as they are starting to pull away from the eleventh place truck of Quentin Moore. He's in eleventh position, twelfth is Jesse Turner as the, as the field goes down through... The other hairpin is turn number 11, one of the slowest turns of the course. And the start finish line goes Kev Shear. He'll lead the first lap of the event and already has pulled up to a comfortable lead now on Levi McIntyre. On board Charles Samper's truck. And down through what would be the second gear part of the course. That's, that's, there's turn four right there, I think. That's second gear at about 54 miles per... 52 miles per hour, I should say, excuse me. Through turn five. Up the hill to go, then now back down the hill for turn six. That's a carousel. And down to about, and down to about 81 miles an hour in third gear. And puts it in fourth gear, but just briefly as they'll, as they'll climb on the brakes for turn number seven. And down to about 42 miles an hour in first gear on this course. So, And right there is the S of the course right there. That's one of the fast sections of this course at Sonoma. Fourth gear at about 126 miles an hour, 127 miles an hour now. On the brakes for turn 10. And watch him climb on the brakes. With, and watch him climb on the brakes. Whoop, baby! Turn 11. And down the first gear at about 38 miles per hour. That's the slowest part of the course. And that's what a lap around Sonoma is like with Charles Sanford in fourth position. And that last time, and that lap for Charles at about 87.8 .8 miles per hour. So as we said before, one of the slowest of the road courses and, and a lot of twists and turns. And I swear to goodness, this, this track will wear out your shifting glove. <laughs> your shifter will be worn out, your steering wheel will be worn out, and even your feet will be worn out from 
the dance you do on the pedals. Taking a look at taking a look there of Keith Batson. He runs in sixth position, number twenty at Napa United Ford. He's in sixth position, as I said. Kyle Matthews in seventh. Then there's eighth place, Johnny Gardner. Seth Cole in ninth. Jessica Shelton. One of the road ringers herself. She runs in tenth. Thirteenth position, Chris Dodd. We see Quentin Moore in eleventh and Jesse Turner in twelfth. Chris Dodds in 13th position. 14th right now is John Arndt. Then going 15th. Yeah, going 15th is Phil Parker. 16th position right now is the 06 of Paul Minnick. Seven, er, 17th is Nathan Hudson. 18th is Kyle Lynch. Andrew Davis, 19th and 20th, and Jonathan Zorlin. Zorlin having a strong run here today, and a having a good run and a solid run in a 17 machine. J.R. Tellier right behind in 21st, and something. And Kyle Lynch got a little, got a little twitchy there going down to turn number 11. There's the rest of the order right there. John Benjamin Miles in 23rd. There's Dylan Young, who's usually really good on the road courses. He's a, he's a, he runs in 24th position. So one so some of the so a couple of the big names back in the back there. Dylan Young, Joshua Collard's also back in the back in 29th. And we thought he'd be one of the ones that would give him a uh, a good a good strong run on the road courses, but not to be for Collard. As we said, one of the self-proclaimed road racers, road racing aces on the, on the tour in turn number 21, JT Bryant got a little twitchy going down through t uh, turn number four. There's turn six of the course we mentioned right there. He's it's in the clutches now of Matt Haas in 20. Back to the leaders, and it's still Kev Shearer in control. Here's Sonoma. Coming off the corner, they come here. McIntyre still second. Third is still Cole Beaver, and it's still Charles Sanford in fifth and fourth position. Osborne still fifth. There's Batson in sixth, and now Kyle Matthews falls into the, falls into the clutches of Johnny Gardner. And Matthews has our back as our back bumper cam here on the number in the number five Dupont Chevrolet. This one's like the right off the back uh, bed of the truck, I guess you might say, at about eighty some miles an hour. And he goes up the hill on the toward the course of there, back down the hill for turn six.
that gives you an idea what the engine, uh, what kind of, kind of, what kind of, what sounds the engine makes on uh, throughout the course of Sonoma here, as you heard. Or, or the, I guess you might say the engine song on this racetrack, I guess you might say, but anyway, that's, here. But what I was going to say here is that kind of gives you an idea what the engines go through as you, as, on this track here, and what RPMs they turn as you stop on the onboard camera from Charles Sanford's truck inside, and, there's, and that, was, that was the back bumper of Kyle Matthews' truck as well. So, sorry I wasn't making much sense here, but anyway, Matthews runs seventh at the moment, then pulling up on Keith Batson in sixth position. Kev Shears, who said, still leads the race. And that front 10 trucks have pulled away from the from the uh, 11th place truck of Quentin Moore, who's running, who's having a solid run here today. He as he goes through turn seven, Jesse Turner in 12th. There's Chris Dodd 13th, John R still 14th, Bill Parker still 15th, and then you got a line of trucks right there: Nathan Hudson, Kyle Lynch, Andrew Davis, and Jonathan Zorlin. Kind of forming a four truck train down through the S's. Up ahead is the. Yep, Nathan Hudson starting to pull ahead from Kyle Lynch. Got two Fords, a Chevrolet, and a Dodge in that train right there. And as, as Hudson leads it down, now Lynch closes up on Hudson, but Hudson will use that Mopar power and just pull away. Back to the leaders, and it's still Kev Shearer out in front, number 24. As he, this time by, he will have five laps to go on his 2.52 mile road course. Trucks pretty much just lined up single file here at Sonoma, so not much action here. And for Kev Shearer, his uh, season, his season's in the, um, in the, um, the L3 series, the Truck Series, the Cup Series, and the Mellow Yellow Series, his seasons in all three, a bit lackluster to some extent, but, you know, but... To some extent, but, uh, for sure, it's, um, this would be a big pick-me-up if he can go on to win here at Sonoma here. It gives him a lot of confidence for tomorrow's, or for the, um, Casual GTX Cup Series event. And a battle starting to shape up for second position here between Levi McIntyre and Cole Devers. He starts to close up on McIntyre for position. Deaver has not won yet in neither this series nor in the Melly Yellow series. But he has won, however, in the Cup series. That came at Dover earlier this season. Whereas Levi McIntyre in the Cup series has won twice so far at, at the Rockingham and Martinsville. Both of whom hope to get their first road course wins in the Cup Series as well. As well, possibly in this event as well, maybe, here in the Truck Series. If they can close up on the truck of Kev Shearer. Diva right now runs third. There's Charles Sanford in fourth. Top ten has not changed much, and there's the that's the best battle on the track right now so far. Kyle Matthews and and Johnny Gardner. And now Seth Cole starts to close up on the 22 truck. Now as Seth takes his takes the AC Delco Chevrolet up up on the back bumper of Gardner's truck. 
about a half a second separate the eighth and ninth place trucks in there. That's Jessica Shelton tailing along in tenth position in this pack of trucks. Seth and Jess both have won here before at Sonoma. We'll take you through the field one more time. There's last place there, Andrew da or, or Dougie Shears. Excuse me, Andrew Davis actually runs the, the same scheme on the Mellow Yellow side of things. But Dougie Shears drives this scheme on the truck side here. The number 87, Bell Side Mobility Chevrolet. For Nemco Motorsports, William Brock there, and he is behind. Matt McIntyre, Matt Haas. Michael Turner trying to go inside of Joshua Collard, and Collard still has Collard struggling big time now down in the 30th position. He is where he's at right now, so uh, Collard not looking strong here at the moment. Back down the hill they go. Zach Flickinger now running in 29th position as he's taken a spot away from Collard. Sakuli right now is in 28th. There's Ryan George. Zachary Fitzwater pulling up on the back bumper of Alex Gray and Dylan Young at the moment. Now Alex Grage pulls up on the back of Dylan Young's truck here so as the battle ensuing now through the turn number 10. That's Young in the number 1 Chevrolet. Gray in the 86 Dodge. And well, Gray got way wide out there in the turn number 11 and that's allowed Fitzwater to pull up a, a, beside him. But can Fitzwater muster enough speed on that dodge to get past Alex Gray? Let's see what happens in turn number one. And he will swing by Alex Gray. So move Zachary Fitzwater up to the number one, up to another, another spot. The Flying Aussie, as he is known. Although I think I one time I called Chris Washer that, and it turned out Chris Washer still uh, lives in Michigan. But anyway. <laughs> but Fitzwater. A uh, good move on his part to get around Alex Gray as Gray slipped through turn number 11. Dylan Young was in 24th position right now. Benjamin Miles still in 23rd. There's Jordan Anderson. Uh, Jonathan Zorlin is in, in 21st position now. J.R. Tellier in 20th. Andrew Davis running in 19th. Kyle Lynch. Nathan Hudson. And Paul, I thought Paul Minnick, something was going wrong with his 06 truck, but, um, yeah, now you got, now you got, now they get that, now that truck is back under power, and, and that's a 1995 Ford that, uh, Minnick is driving, one of the few 95 Fords in the field. In fact, he, Matt McIntyre, and Keith Batson all driving 1995 model Ford F-150s in the field. And in fact, so does this man, Phil Parker, is also in a 95 Ford. John Arndt in the newest Ford of the bunch, a 2008 model. Chris Dodd in 13th, 12th is Jesse Turner. Quentin Moore out for a Sunday drive in the 11th position. There's the top 10. Jessica Shelton running in 10th position. Having another solid road course run. Seth Cole running in 9th. 8th is Johnny Gardner. 7th is Kyle Matthews. 6th is Keith Batson. 5th, Joshua Osborne. Charles Samper 4th. Cole Deaver 3rd. Levi McIntyre 2nd. And there's your leader coming toward the white flag. That's Cap Shearer. The number 24, Quaker State Chevrolet. And he will manhandle that truck through turn number 11. Now as he will see the white flag, he has one more lap to go. Not much racing today in Sonoma, California. Side by side wise at least. 
But this man, Cam Sheer, got the outside run he wanted. Th he got he needed through turn through turn number one on the very first lap, and he could be on his way to his first ever Truck Series victory in the Advocare Truck Series as he'll round that truck through turn three A. There's turn four. Sheer knows, however, one slip and Levi McIntyre could be up on his back bumper. But Sheer keeping that but Sheer showing a lot of finesse through that, through that, through that on this course here as he as he rounds through turn six. Three Chevys and two Fords in the top five spots here. The two Fords, of course, being Levi McIntyre and Joshua Osborne. Sheer. Beaver and Sanford are the other are the three Chevys, of course, in the top five. Shears truck, a 1996 Silverado. As he as he browns that truck through turns, there's that's A A. Turn nine. There's turn ten. One more turn to go. He'll climb on the brakes for turn number eleven. As he negotiates through that hairpin turn, no slip out of that 24 machine, and he will do it here today as the Fram Autolite 120, 151 goes to Kev Shear. He wins in Sonoma. As Kev Shear will take the Quaker State Chevrolet to victory lane number 24. Does it here today at Sonoma, and he hopes he can do, back that up with his number 24 Cup car in the Fuller House 350K in the Cup Series. But that's for Kev Shear, is his first ever Truck Series victory as he takes it home at Sonoma. So. So 12 races are in the books in the Truck Series here. Kev Shear takes the victory here today. Levi McIntyre will finish second. Third will be Cole Beaver, matching his truck number. Charles Sanford comes home fourth. Joshua Osborne will be fifth. Sixth will be Keith Batson. Seventh will be Kyle Matthews. Johnny Gardner eighth. Seth Cole ninth. And Jessica Shelton will come home in tenth position. Eleventh place will be Quentin Moore. Jesse Turner twelfth. Chris Dodd thirteenth. John Art fourteenth. Fifteenth position will be Phil Parker. Paul Minnick, 16th. The 17th will be Nathan Hudson. Kyle Lynch, 18th. Andrew Davis, 19th. And 20th will be J.R. Tellier. Jonathan Zorlin, 21st. 22nd position will be uh, Jordan Anderson, 23rd. Benjamin Miles, Dylan Young, 24th. Uh, Alex Gray, 25th. And Zachary Fitzwater. Ryan George, Joshua Sakuli. Joshua Collard, uncharacteristically for him, 29th on a road course. That is a Bad run for him on the, on a road course. Uh, usually does better than that though, but you know that they'll get that shut up straightened up though when they straightened up when we when they go to the next road stop on the tour, which I believe will be at Watkins Glen later on in the season. Thirtieth um, position, rounding out the top thirty will be Zach Flickinger. Rounding out the finishers here today: Michael Turner, J.T. Bryant, Cat Tellier. Uh, Chelsea Bowles, Matt McIntyre, Matt Haas, William Brock, and Dougie Shears ends up in last place, unfortunately for him. But a big win today for Kev Shear in the number 24 uh, Quaker State Chevrolet as he will go to victory lane in the Fram Auto Light 151, averaging 88.108 miles per hour. A caution for him in Sonoma. That's uh, uncharacteristic also in any of my series. So that race is history for the Truck Series as the next stop on the tour for trucks will be at Kentucky Speedway for the running of the Ram Tough 225. So that'll be a great day. So it'll be a great race at the Kentucky Speedway, hopefully. So for until then, this is James Claus. This has been a production of the NRSL, and we will see you at Kentucky Speedway.